just in the yellow by about an inch. There's a dude on the wrong side. Jesus Christ. Look, there's more than that. Oh, wow. It's flooded already. It's just become a lake overnight. I just turned around. Look at this. Look how flooded that is. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today, firstly, before we start the vlog, I'm going to take you back to when me and Mama are walking back to get the car, because something very interesting happens when we get to the car. Uh, yeah. It's supposed to be really nice and sunny today, guys. But we're walking right into a lovely, beautiful rain cloud. Unfortunately, so... Yeah, I think we're going to get a bit wet. Yeah. I'm going to get soaked, guys. I'm going to absolutely oh, soak. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Nine, because we're walking into the rain as well. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't bring a coat because it was supposed to be sunny today. He said a break between low pressures. We've got the we heard. Josh is going to get soaking. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely over there. This is going to be how. It's going to be a two miles of how. It's getting heavier. It's all right. I don't think the rain touched me very much. Didn't get very wet. Oh. Run pheasant. Yeah, I didn't get very wet at all, really. No. It's the end of it though. There it is. And then behind that's high cloud, thankfully. <laughs> we oh, found it. That's funny. Wow. We found it, guys. I just went through that it's farmer's a... field there because yeah. I thought they threw it over the hedge. And they just, they've taken it down here and just yeah. put it here for some reason. They just put it here. Well, they didn't know we have to walk back and get the car, so thank you very much. Whoever threw it. Yeah. Whoever threw it. Thank you very much. We've got it anyway, so you didn't get your way, did you? <laughs> Mum and Dad are doing the uh, water pump again. Yes, God, the we've rain had we've had the last... in a row. Yeah, the we've last... had a lot of rain. The two days? Yesterday, really. Well, it's funny yesterday because it peed down in the morning. We had a little bit of a break, didn't we? Yeah, the really nice turned out. And then it, oh. it went horrible again, and then a thunderstorm came yeah, in. Yeah, we had a thunderstorm, thunder and lightning. Yeah, because I was at the car doing some jobs in the car. I was walking back and I saw this, I could hear bangs getting closer and closer and closer. I was like, ah, oh, it's got to be thunder and lightning. And as soon as I decided to leave, it hit. So I was running back in the rain. That does not sound good. Coming right for me. Oh my god.
be surprised if I ain't gonna get striped. But it was coming along with me. It was strikes there, strikes here, strikes there, everywhere. And he didn't know what the banging was. Yeah. It was the thunder on its way. Just check again. Yeah, it's still coming out a little bit. Um, yeah, this is what I was worried about when we went on holiday to Crete. I was worried we would get a few days of non-stop rain. Yeah, don't take then much to go on. The going red. Oh. There's a lot of a lot of navigations at the moment. Over by the CRT are on yellow, and even mm -hmm. Hanham Lock is on red on the K&A. Which no, is the first lock at the Avon no, side. <laughs> so, yeah. We've got to get there's a. But there is one yeah. more river section between us and the Langollen. That is up here at Anho. Is it this place called? It's called Hey Ho. Hey, Ain, Ain Ho. Ain Ho. Yeah, the same yeah. place as this water. Ain Ho Lock. Called. It takes us onto the river trail where well, the river trail comes in and goes <coughs> over. Uh, the canal uh, we're so effectively it acts as a feeder to the canal yeah so we've got to get through that but it crosses the channel it's going to push dad right along and it's on yellow already <laughs> it's on yellow and rising so it could go on red at any moment and if it goes on red we can't go through no they shut it they lock it so yeah we're going to get through this last river section guys hopefully and then we should be safe hopefully yeah fingers crossed Four mile cruise today um, to, or just, I don't know, might be over four miles, it might be less. Twyford uh, Wharf, we're going to. It's we need a there. bit of luck today. That's, I would like to get closer to Banbury, but there's no parking, literally no parking before you get to Banbury. Um, so we're going to have to do about six mile cruise to get through Banbury next time. Mm. But then, it's, then Josh will be walking back on his own. <laughs> Probably cycle. Still, it's a towpath. <coughs> I've still got a bad chest at the moment. Yeah, the weather's uh, very grey at the moment. Yeah. It's not oh. supposed to really rain today. It's just supposed to be cloudy. It's called British grey. But it looks yeah. like it's go gonna. To it really looks like it's gonna pee down. So mm. I think we need to tie off and get going. Yeah, it's only gonna be two and a half hours, three hours at the most cruise anyway. Get going. Yeah. And then we've got to walk back to get the car because. Let's cast Man's off got then. an interview tomorrow, so... Yeah. Wednesday? No, Tuesday. <laughs> oh yeah, look. Are you happy? Yeah, he's clean shaven. shaven without any <laughs> shaving Ooh. cream. Josh actually saw one, didn't we? Fan in. Yeah.
proceed with caution. It hasn't got a digital one, I think there's a level somewhere. Here it is guys. That's the trail well, comes in there. And it's just in the yellow. Just in the yellow by about an inch. <laughs> so we'll be fine. A little bit of current coming out, but on a red board. Oh god. Not when we come through here. A little bit of rain, that's all it takes. A little bit of rain, I can't believe it. A couple of days of rain, that's all it takes. Can't take any risks this time of year. Gotta get yourself sorted. Yeah. I've mentioned this before, but to anyone who hasn't watched my videos before, these big wide locks are used to carry more water down from the next pound because the next pound is fed by an infinite supply from the river Churwell. So they wanted more water to come down to the next pounds which weren't fed by the river so they could keep them topped up as well. And you can actually fit three 57 foot narrowboats in here or one 70 foot and two 57s. Dad's going to engage warp drive now, but this is nowhere near as bad as the River Thames was on Red Boars when he had the wheels on there. Oh my god. Yeah. Level's definitely rising. Got through that all right there. You might have to take that antenna down because that's how low the bridge is. Cross the road to get to the left. No underpass. Check this massive jaggy out bit, don't we? Yeah, I don't know, it's weird, isn't it? Oh, it's my lucky day! Are you gonna. <laughs> you should have just stood there! It's a last favour, just about. God, I can't get any friction on these. Bloody hazelnuts, acorns, whatever. This section is part of the river. The river rises. This does as well, oh. so it makes it even worse because you've got the low bridge as well. Yeah. So it's not only the weir; you got this low bridge. So if it was, no, yeah, you wouldn't have to get underneath there. Anyway, no, that's why I wanted to get past these two river sections yeah. before it's too late. You'd be, yeah. <laughs> be stuck, and you'd have to come every day and just see. Yeah. It's low enough as it is, isn't it? Even now with relatively normal levels, this bridge is extremely, extremely tight. Yeah. But you can imagine when the levels do rise, it's not the wheel you have to worry about, it's this low bridge. Oh, wow, yeah. Lucky we took the antenna down. Even uh, just a little bit onto yellow boards, look how low it is. Safe. Safe from the river sections, guys. That's it now. No more rivers can stop us uh, between us and our destination now. As you can see, I moved it right in the middle now, that area. This is one of the CRT work bases. It's where they keep all their stuff and whatever they need for repairs. Yeah, that's it. 
There's the pig farm place, yeah. park thingy, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Ready to jump off. Yeah, stop off and uh, have a look at the uh, yeah. farm shop. What well, a time to stop off at the pig place. A very interesting little pig farm on the side of the canal. Get some proper bacon here. Well, I don't know where all the pigs are. There's supposed to be loads of pigs here. I think we all know what happened to all the pigs. This place has got a sense of humour. I've got a bit of everything in here. Anyway, we're getting some coal, 25 kilograms. It's 19 pound and it was 11 pound this time last year. It's good quality stuff though, this. It burns for yeah. a long time. Keep us going for a while. So we're mostly going to be using wood, aren't we? Yeah. There's only three duck eggs oh, left. I know. That's freshly laid one of them. It, whoa, that's mine. Whoa, that's mine. Oh, that's a freshly laid big one. <laughs> You're smaller, so you get this one. <laughs> Seven pound bacon, but <laughs> it's gonna be worth it, I think. And this. So we've got a bacon egg sandwich and seventeen pound shoulder joint. So it's yeah. all fresh from this farm. <laughs> all organic. Yeah, and we've got a sauce of coal. Yeah. We're gonna have a bacon egg sandwich later, aren't we? Yeah. Try it on camera. Bacon egg I'm going to play some music for here because some of the things we were talking about you don't want to know like mad cow disease, foot and mouth, economics, just a load of random stuff you don't want to know about. Well unfortunately there's no GoPro footage from now on because the GoPro let me down again. From this day onwards I regularly check the GoPro to make sure it's still growing and still running and I believe it's because the power bank I use sometimes it turns itself off I don't know why and then obviously the GoPro loses power because the batteries in it are absolutely terrible. When you're heading up the M40 towards Banbury, this is the piece of the Oxford Canal that you can see. Every time I drive along there, I look out for it. There's a dude on the wrong side. Jesus Christ. Well, more an apple Just give him time. We can get around. Can you imagine if a train just came speeding along there now? Went right over the top of us. <laughs> Sad, isn't it? Bridge has fulfilled its purpose, that's it now. And you're left there forever. Oh wow, it's flooded already! Oh my god! It's just become a lake overnight. The next lock, 10 foot this one. Yeah, someone's someone's coming down. Just someone coming down now. I just turned around, look at this. 
how flooded that is. That's ridiculous. timing just as we're coming out a black prince comes along so we can just leave the gates open for him to come in it's funny because when this flashland floods all these birds think it's a lake and they all gather around them If we had to own a house, we would love one like that. It's our own little basin to park your boats. I'm going to put the new poles on and, and he snaps the old one. Oh, I don't know if you saw it then, but... I, no, I was in the way. He's all right, guys, don't worry. Yeah, <laughs> nearly went in the canal again. <laughs> Not that funny. It was when God, you saw it. I didn't see it. <coughs> um, yeah, we are more up at oh. Twyford Wharf. Uh, it's got really windy all of a sudden. I remember this, this is, I think there's a wind trap in here because it was windy last time we came yeah. through. Quite cold. Woo! She's hell? gonna fall off in a minute. Jesus, oh. Oh. oh, we just went. It's funny because we moored here. Yeah. And we thought. And there's a oh, boat coming like through it. the lift bridge. Yeah, someone's gonna moor a holiday boat. It doesn't matter if it's a holiday boat, but well, it's gonna moor right in front. I thought they were just mooring for lunch. So, so pull it back a bit. And they, and they said to Andy, well, we, we're not mooring, the no, wind's just said, blown us over. Best mooring he's ever done, but he's not mooring. <laughs> yeah, unintentional mooring. And then they came, I told them to go quicker, coming past. And then they hit, they hit Olive, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, because they turned coming. the tiller the wrong way and then they... Yeah, they yeah, can't Because they were so it. flustered. The wind. Fluffed it. So I told Flusters. them to Fluster. go a bit faster past these boats. If they say anything, just say it's the wind. Yeah, um, yeah, we came through... That area, didn't we? <coughs> uh, past King Sutton and the fields, they're just oh. they're like lakes now, all flooded just from a little bit of rain. Yeah, yeah it's, all the fields are flooded already. Yeah, didn't take much. That was, that was only really conti not continuous rain yesterday, just a lot yeah, of rain. But we had a rain a few days before, yeah. really heavy. Yeah. We've had it's funny, we've been fingers crossed every other day we've been cruising. And the day we're cruising has been all right, hasn't it, Josh? Yeah. Luckily. The in one between in between has fronts. been a washout. Yeah, so we're going to walk back again. It's only about 12, uh, 12 o'clock. Yeah, uh, but it's four miles, not very far. But it's too bad to cycle to a path again. So, not yeah, cycling. These, it, it's Oxford. The, it's nice for the cats, isn't it? Yeah, Josh, but it's very remote. Yeah. Fortunately, there's no 
like I said, there's no parkings further up towards Banbury. Parking's on the bridge back there, as close as we can get really. His dad's got his interview tomorrow. Yeah, let's hope that goes alright. What? No interview tomorrow. We could do with that because it's it's a perfect job really because it's weekends. Mm. We don't usually cruise on weekends anyway, so it would be perfect, wouldn't it? Yeah. God, it's getting really windy. A little way away at the moment, but once we get there, we'll be absolutely mm. fine. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, the, so. the hum of the M40 as well. The hum of the M40. Oh, yeah. oh that's, the, that's the only thing. It's beautiful this morning, but. It's the hum. That's what I'm looking forward to. There. <coughs> the fields are flooded now, so there's all sorts of birds down there. And what we do with the River Nee and all that? So remote down there. Yeah. It's really flat, but it's so remote. We are, looking, we are looking forward to getting on the North Oxford, seeing yeah. something we haven't something seen new. before, haven't we? Mm. But we're going to have our bacon sandwiches now. Yeah, we're having our bacon and duck eggs, aren't we? Which we'll see. Yeah. I don't know if we'll be in this one. Do it again. I'm going to have the big duck egg. Oh, yeah, it'll be in the next vlog, I mean. <laughs> On the next one. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And press the bell icon like Josh's yeah. head. I've got to shake like a bell, is it? Oh, thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, cheers for watching. See you later. See ya.